Hey everyone, it's Paulina. I hope everyone's surviving the heat wave. It's kind of gross here in California too. Um, so I've got about nine days left and I am down 25 and a half pounds. I've got 4.5 until I get to my goal of 30. That was my initial goal for round two. Um, round two has been a lot slower moving, definitely slower than round one. Obviously with round one, I lost 40 pounds. Um, and it's been harder for me because not, not that I'm getting bored with the food, not that I'm hungry. Um, but it's because of all of the fresh fruits and vegetables that are in season that I can't have. Um, my garden is just packed, you know, my eggplants, I just picked a bunch the other day and took them over to my neighbors because I can't eat them on P2 and some Armenian cucumbers. Although I could eat cucumbers, I just can't get through that many. So, um, so it's been kind of tough and peaches are in season now and there's still some cherries on the tree. And speaking of cherries, um, I have a confession. I am a cheater and a thief. I uh, was making a Neapolitan uh, dream. It's one of the smoothies that I made on my page at www.myhcgpage.org. And, um, and instead of using strawberries, I looked out the kitchen window and my next door neighbor has a really big cherry tree. And it had just these massive, deep, purple, sweet, big cherries on it still. And so I ran out there and yes, I stole, because some of the branches reach over into my yard, I stole about eight or nine cherries off the tree and I came rushing inside and instead of a handful of strawberries, I used a handful of cherries and I took the pits out and I threw it in the blender with the unsweetened cocoa powder and made just an amazing chocolate and cherry um, smoothie. I won't be having it again in P2. I still had a small release the next morning, so I don't think it phased me, but I will definitely save those for P3. Um, so anyhow, that was my confession of cheating and stealing. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, I was really curious. I made a, um, a cabbage salad earlier this week, and when I halfway through it, I thought, man, this would be great with red cabbage. But I haven't used red cabbage yet. I'm wondering if any of you have used red cabbage because I think that red cabbage is a little sweeter. I've used savory cabbage, Napa cabbage, and regular green cabbage, but never the red cabbage. So I'm wondering who out there has used the red cabbage and what your ideas are on that. Um, also, there's been some discussion about radishes. In Simeon's book, it says red radish. Um, so, um, so... You know, there's been some discussion between the red radish versus the daikon radish. I've used the daikon radish. Thank you, Debalu, too. Um, it was because of your vlog. I thought, oh, yeah, the daikon radish. Um, and the nutrition content is about the same between a daikon and a regular red. So I have used the daikon. I have not had any stalls with it. I'm curious who else out there uses the daikon and if you prefer it to the red radish. Um, oh, last but not least, um, someone asked me about my breadsticks, and these are the ones that I get. Um, these are garlic flavored, and I eat one with each meal, so I have two a day. Sometimes I snack on them. I don't have to eat them with my meal. But they're 23 and a half calories, and they're pretty good. Um, I get the box for $3.50 from my local Rayleigh's. It's a kind of a fine food store, so not every store carries the Grissinis. Um, but out of sheer desperation, they were out of these uh, about a week and a half ago, so... I bought this box of Melba. I'm not a huge fan of Melba, but this roasted garlic is out of this world. Uh, four of these little rounds are um, 60 calories. So I allow myself two rounds for a total of 30 calories per meal. Um, so it's, I eat six, excuse me, I eat four a day. Um, so two with each meal and these are fantastic. The garlic flavor in, in these is so bold that it really leaves you wanting more. So in my next loading days, I think I'm going to eat a whole box of these. Speaking of my next loading days, I think I'm going to take a five or six week break in between rounds. Um, with the oral drops, you only have to take a three week break. 
but this last round I waited the three weeks and the second round hasn't been as good as the first week. So I'm thinking, or excuse me, as the first round. So I'm thinking I might take a five or six week break in between the next two rounds, but not to worry. I'll still be checking in really quickly and seeing how everyone is doing. Um, other than that, I'm doing wonderful. I am feeling great, and I hope your dieting is going well, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.